Hey, what's up guys? In this Wix tutorial, we're gonna be looking at repeaters, which is a list of items on your website that have the same layout, but they have different content inside of them. They're pretty cool and I'll show you how to use them. I've opened up a sample photography website. Now I thought it'd be a good idea to show you how to use repeaters to basically send your viewers or your audience to a different section of your website. So for instance, my first thought was on a portfolio site, if we go ahead and pull down this slideshow here, you could add a repeater in here that highlights different portions of your website. To add a repeater, we just need to go to the add dialog box in our toolbar, go down to lists and grids, and these are all the different repeaters we can add. The one that I'm gonna focus on is this one here, but there's all sorts of different types. I think a lot of folks might use them for shopping and sending, sending your viewers to different product pages on your site. We're gonna use it to sort of highlight different portfolio pages. So I'm gonna drag and drop the repeater onto our site right here. And now what I can do is just click on my little slideshow and drag that down a little bit. But we won't need too much space because we're going to change the design of this repeater. The first thing I wanna do is manage the items. So if I click on this container, I can click on manage items and that's gonna bring up the item list. We can of course reorganize, notice how shades of gray and body movement flip places by just reorganizing how items are distributed in your layout here. We can also click the three dots, duplicate or delete items. So I'm gonna delete the bottom two. I'm just gonna keep four of them on here. Now because we selected a sample repeater, we already have some content in here, but we can add items to this as needed. For instance, I could click on this button and delete it, and notice how it deletes from each of my items. So that's kind of how repeaters work. The layout stays the same, the items in there stay the same, but you can edit them in certain ways. For instance, if I change shades of gray to nature, like this is the nature photos of our, sec of our website, that doesn't change on each of these. But if I move this text to the top, the layout changes on each. So the layout stays the same, but the individual pieces of content can be adjusted. Now we deleted a button, so we're gonna need to add a new button to this. To add anything to your repeater, you simply go back to that add dropdown. And this is gonna give you a whole list of things you can add. And most of these you can add in here. Some elements that can't be added are like third-party apps or pro galleries, full-width galleries, Wix video, Wix music, uh, horizontal and vertical menus, different flash elements and HTML components, but most of these basic components here can be added. So if we go to button and we wanna add a different button, I'm gonna add this back to top button. I think I like that one. I'm gonna drag it in here on top of my repeater and when I let go, it's gonna to add to each one of these. And instead of back to top, I'm gonna to change the text on this to say, maybe view photos instead. And I don't want this little arrow anymore, so this little vector art, if I just delete that, it gets rid of it. And I'm gonna kind of position, if I can click on this button here, I'm gonna position it sort of in the bottom right hand corner of each of these boxes. And then of course I can go inside of this little element individually and adjust the design of it. So there are themed buttons, but we can customize that design and we can adjust what the border color is. So I want these buttons to be white. So I'm gonna change the color to white. I'm gonna to go to the text and change the text color to white. So each individual item that you can add, if you go into the design element, you can adjust all that design and how you want it to look on your repeater. Now if we back out of this, this is a button, so it will have a link and we're gonna to want to link it to a certain page or any other document, email, anchor, web address that you want to take people to. For instance, this one's a portfolio, so I'm gonna take folks to the nature section of this portfolio. So I'm gonna select the page and instead of home, we're going to go to nature. That's one of the sections and we're gonna open it in the current window and hit done. So now this button, on this specific item will take people to the nature section. We're also gonna to want to probably change the background to reflect what that page is gonna be like, or in this case, what that portfolio of work is going to look like. So I'm gonna click on this item and go to change background. Now from here, I can select tons of different things. 
potentially just these misty slopes here for the nature icon. And once I do that, it's as simple as just adding that in there. You could also just select the color. You can adjust the settings for your image opacity, the color behind the image, how it scales and fits and is positioned within that certain item. And you can also, of course, add an image from anywhere on your site or any of the free Wix imagery that uh, Wix provides you. Over thousands of free background images at your fingertips. All right, so we're gonna back out of this. We adjusted the nature section. How about this next one? Same way I can adjust this and do human, I believe was one of the portfolio categories that we had on this site. We can adjust our button. We can change the text of that to say view photos again. And then of course we need to adjust the button link so we can click on the link, we can click on the drop down. Uh, people was the name of it. So we're gonna hit done, we're gonna take people to the people page and instead of human, we'll change that back to people. And then of course we can click on this image, change the background color, we can go find an image through, through these free Wix image, images and we can search for people even and we'll get tons of images, we can select one, change the background, see how it fits in there. If we'd like that, we can leave it as is. So that's how you can kind of roll through these and create this sort of menu system that's made out of a list of items. They have the same layout, but they have different content in each. Really efficient way to sort of do this. I mean, if I wanted to move this button, I could move this button. If I wanted to move all of these headers back down to the bottom, I could do the same thing and adjust the size of these boxes and line up the headers potentially with the button. Now another thing I wanted to show you here is that this container, we can line it up. We can actually, if we click on it, just the container, we can get, of course, manage items. We can adjust the layout, which is how things are aligned and the spacing between. We can also stretch to fit the width of our page. And that's actually what I was going to utilize here on this site. So I'm gonna stretch this to fit the width of the page and we can, of course, adjust the margins, but we can also go back to, if we click on this container again, we can go back to layouts and we can justify or center or right align all of the items. So I'm going to justify the items. So they're justified across our page. So they're gonna move and scale with our page. And because this, the title, has two lines, so it's gonna bump down this photo. That's why it's out of line compared to the rest of them. So I believe one of our other categories was urban. And so if we type in urban here, that's going to bring that back up. Now one thing I'll want to do here is of course bring my slideshow down and sort of adjust where everything lands here. And I can bring this down as well. We want it down below the header. And then we want to bring the header up. And that's going to allow us to have this item here on top of my slideshow at the top of my page. And if we go to preview, we have almost this navigation that we can click on and go to different sections of our website. So that's how repeaters can be helpful in designing your site and adding different types of elements and potentially navigation to it. I'm gonna drag this down a little bit more. There we go. Now, if you wanted to add content just to a single repeater, you're going to have to use Wix code to do that. And of course, as I showed you before, each of these buttons need to be linked individually. So I need to link this button specifically to the urban page, which is good because you wouldn't want them to all link to the same page all the time. Now you might in some cases, but in most cases you're gonna want these buttons to link to different sections. And of course this is urban, so I'm gonna change that background because it's, it's bugging me. We need a cityscape of some sort, maybe this right here. Now we've got that urban design in there. Now the last thing you can do is change the design of your item. So if I click on this item in particular and go to design, I do have border options, I have corner options and shadow options for each of these elements that I can adjust and animation options. And of course we can always manage the items and flip flop them around depending on how we want them to appear on our page. That's it, that's all about repeaters. They're pretty cool. I think there's some unique ways that you can use them and be creative with them on your website. And if you saw in the list of themed repeaters that you can just add to your site, there's a lot of different options. And I think 
potentially in portfolio scenarios or definitely in shopping scenarios. These can be good ways to send your viewers to different parts of your website to buy a product, to view your, a certain portfolio or video, or potentially you've got some other creative use to, uh, to use repeaters and these grids and lists type of things. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you learned a thing or two in this video. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.